Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and on this video I'll be talking about my way too early European League of Football team rankings for the upcoming 2023 season. Before we get into today's video, please smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel. Chances are if you're watching this video, that means you really love sports and also drop a like on this video. It was announced in December of 2022 that the Istanbul Rams will not field the team in the 2023 season. In the official European League of Football statement, the league cited the overall difficult sporting and economic situation as a reason for the Rams' withdrawal from competition. With rumors swirling last season of the Rams' financial precocity, it seems to point towards funding being interrupted or costs underestimated. The Rams stated that the team will resume their activities in the Turkish League, but does not make it clear whether they plan to participate in 2024. Number 17, the Leipzig Kings. Last season was tough for the Kings, and they had a record of 4 wins and 8 losses. In the 2022 season, the team scored 242 points and the defense gave up 370 points. The Kings start off the offseason on a rocky note as their head coach and team split ways. However, the team responded by promoting veteran John Booker to the head coaching position. Last season, he was their run game coordinator slash offensive line coach for the 2022 season. The team did find their quarterback for the 2023 season. So far, I would say that the Kings offseason grade is a solid C. It will be interesting to see how the Kings do in the upcoming 2023 campaign. Number 16, the Clone Centurions. After a disappointing season last year, they had a record of 3 wins and 9 losses. They started the 2022 season the right way by winning their first two games. But after that, they lost 9 straight games until they won their final game of the season. On the 2022 season, the team scored 301 points and their defense allowed 473 points. The team decided to move on from their former head coach after the season ended and began looking for a coach who they believe could turn this team around. Their new head coach will also be their defensive coordinator for the team that gave up the second most points in the league last year, surrendering an average of almost 40 points per game. The team has taken some positive steps in the offseason so far and I give them a grade of a solid C. They will be an interesting team to watch in the upcoming 2023 season. Number 15, the Prague Lions. The Lions are one of the league's new expansion teams and the only European League of Football team in the country. The team announced that Zach will be their head coach for the 2023 season. He has been with the team in some capacity since 2004 and initially joined the team 18 years ago as a player. He has since worked his way into the head coaching role and will now lead the team into the European League of Football. The Lions have brought back their Czech Bull winning quarterback. So far in the offseason, I give this team a C+. I look forward to seeing how the Lions do in their first season in the league this year. Number 14, the Milano Seamen. The Milano Seamen are another new expansion team in the European League of Football and are the only team in the country for the 2023 season. The team has been Italy's prized possession for years, winning five of the last eight Italian Bowls after their departure from the domestic league and into the European League of Football. Now they will be adding non-Italian talent and that is something that the team is not used to. Italy's import rules are strict and allow just one non-Italian on the field at one time. This has forced the country's teams to rely on Italians for years and it is showing a lack of creativity in their signings in the offseason. Luke will be the quarterback for the team in the 2023 season and he has successfully led the team for years, being able to operate at the highest level in Europe. My offseason grade for them is a C+. I wonder how the team will perform in their first season in the league. Number 13, the Munich Ravens. 
The Munich Ravens are another brand new addition to the European League of Football this year. This team will be the league's final German team for the time being. The team's first head coach in their history will be John, and he served as an advisor to the coaching staff of the Hamburg Sea Devils in the 2022 campaign. With the team being one of the newest franchises in the league, they have signed veteran Chad Jeffries as the first quarterback in the team's short history. If the Ravens want to potentially be a playoff contender this season, they will need some young talent to help them get there this year. My offseason grade for them is a C+. I look forward to seeing how the Ravens do in their first season in the league this year. Number 12, the Vahavar Enthroners. They are a new expansion team for the European League of Football this year. The team has actually been around since they were established in 2007. They have competed in the Hungarian Football League and in the Austrian Football League Division 1, the second highest level in Austria. The team did the right thing by starting the offseason by bringing back former head coach Jamie Hill. They were one of the first teams in the offseason to secure a quarterback. Signing former Kane's dual threat passer Gabriel. My offseason grade for them is a solid B. I wonder how the team will perform in their first season in the league this year. Number 11, the Panthers wrote Sloth. Last season, they had a record of 5 wins and 7 losses. On the 2022 season, the team scored 287 points and their defense allowed 305 points. The Panthers' former head coach is now in the front office, and now they have found their new head coach and longtime college football coach, Dave. He led the Wyoming University Cowboys for three seasons and has decades of play calling experience at the top level of college football. They have also found their quarterback for the 2023 season. So my offseason grade for them is a solid A. We will find out how much better this team is in the upcoming 2023 campaign. Number 10, the Raiders Tyrol. The Raiders had a pretty strong season last year with a record of 8 wins and 4 losses. They did make the playoffs last year, but they didn't get past the Hamburg Sea Devils in the semifinals. On the 2022 season, the team scored 418 points and their defense allowed 229 points. Sean Shelton was the quarterback for the Raiders for eight years, and now he has left a large hole when he left the team. He will be surely missed after taking the Raiders to multiple championships. Now the team has found their new quarterback, Christian Strong, for the 2023 season. So my offseason grade for them is a C-. We will see if the Raiders will be as good as last season in the upcoming 2023 campaign. Number 9, the Rhine Fire. Last season, the Fire just missed the playoffs in their first season with a record of 7 wins and 5 losses. On the 2022 season, the team scored 346 points and their defense allowed 314 points. Despite the team ranking 3rd in total yards, the team struggled to get it over the line and ranked in the middle of the pack in scoring. The Fire have managed to keep hold of household name and former NFL head coach Jim along with acquiring offensive coordinator Andrew from the Barcelona Dragons in the offseason. Also in the offseason, they re-signed quarterback Jadrian Clark who joined the fire partway through the 2022 season. In his five starts at quarterback last year, he threw for 2,118 yards and 23 touchdowns. He proved he can be one of the league's top quarterbacks and will look to cement himself as a top flight passer in the 2023 campaign. So my offseason grade for them is a C+. I look forward to seeing how the fire do in the 2023 season. Number 8, the Barcelona Dragons. The Barcelona Dragons had a pretty nice season last year with a record of 8 wins and 4 losses. They did make the playoffs last year, but they didn't get past the Vienna Vikings in the semifinals. On the 2022 season, the team scored 364 points and their defense allowed 225 points. 
The team lost both Kyle Sweet and Zach Edwards in the offseason, two of their most productive players. Gabriel Sanchez will be the new head coach of the team for the 2023 season. He will replace Andrew who recently departed after the 2022 season. The Dragons have signed Connor Miller who will be their quarterback for the 2023 campaign. My offseason grade for them is a B-. We will see if the Dragons will be as good as last season in the upcoming 2023 campaign. Number 7, the Helvetic Guards. They are in another one of the league's new expansion teams for the upcoming 2023 season and the only European League of Football team in the country. The Switzerland's team announced their presence in the league with a bane, bringing in one of college football's greatest quarterback whispers to be the first head coach in franchise history. Norm Chow promptly hired an impressive staff that brings a ton of experience to the brand new franchise. At quarterback, the team and head coach went with Colin Hill. He had an up and down career with the Rams in South Carolina. But Hill brings a big arm and lots of experience. So my offseason grade for them is a solid A. It will be interesting to see how they do in their first season in the league this year. Number 6, the Frankfurt Galaxy. The Frankfurt Galaxy had a nice season last year with a record of 8 wins and 4 losses and barely missed the playoffs last year. On the 2022 season, the team scored 386 points and their defense allowed 247 points. After their defense had a solid showing in 2022, the team has decided to stack their secondary to the brim for the upcoming season. The Galaxy were not really that consistent last year, and they almost lost the winless Stuttgart surge and that left an ugly mark on their reputation in that season. Their star quarterback, who won them their first championship in 2021, will be back with the team again in the 2023 campaign. So my offseason grade for them is a B-. I wouldn't be surprised if the Galaxy will have another great season again in 2023. Number 5, the Paris Football Team. The Paris Football Team are another one of the league's new expansion teams for the upcoming 2023 season and the only European League of Football team in the country. The team's first official signing was head coach Mark, who has an impressive resume stateside but also in Italy where he won an Italian Bowl in his first season with the Parma Panthers, making it their first title in nearly a decade. The Paris team signed former Barcelona Dragons quarterback Zach Edwards for the 2023 season. Their offense and defense could be really good for the upcoming season with the signings the team has made so far in their offseason. So my offseason grade for them is a A+. If their head coach can bring this lower roster together, they will surely challenge for the title in their first year. Number 4, the Stuttgart Surge. The Stuttgart Surge have been the worst team in the European League of Football for the first two seasons of the league. In the 2022 season, they were the only winless team in the league. Last season, their offense was the worst in the league in points scored at 113 and their defense was the third worst allowing 451 points. After having the worst season in league history last year, in the offseason, the surge brought in one of the most successful coaches in German football history, naming Jordan Newman. He left arguably the best American football team in Europe, the Schwäbisch Hall Unicorns. He is a record-breaking three-time German Bowl winning coach, and he is eager to take on the new challenge of building up the struggling franchise. In the offseason, they made a huge splash by signing German Bowl and Italian Bowl winning quarterback Riley Hennessy. He led the Schwäbisch Hall Unicorns to the German title in 2022. So my offseason grade for them is a A+. I wouldn't be surprised if they are a top 5 team in the new season. Number 3, the Berlin Thunder. 
the Berlin Thunder almost made the playoffs last season with a record of 7 wins and 5 losses. On the 2022 season, the team scored 324 points and their defense allowed 282 points. In the offseason, the Thunder re-signed the most feared defender in the league and that will always be a great signing. Defensive end Kyle Kitchens should again be one of the most dominant players in the league in the upcoming 2023 campaign. Their offense is going to be better this season and their defense could be even more dominating this year. The Berlin Thunder have found their quarterback for the 2023 season. So my offseason grade for them is a solid A. I absolutely believe that the Berlin Thunder could be one of the top five teams this year. Number 2, the Hamburg Sea Devils. The Hamburg Sea Devils made the European League of Football Championship game last year, but unfortunately they lost to the Vienna Vikings. In the 2022 season, they had a record of 11 wins and 1 loss. Last season, their offense was the best in the league and points scored at 424 and their defense was the best allowing 160 points. It is unclear whether their defense will be able to replicate what it did last year. The Sea Devils have found their quarterback for the upcoming 2023 season. So my offseason grade for them is a B plus. After the Sea Devils have made back-to-back -back championship game appearances, I wouldn't be surprised if we might see them again this year. Number 1, the Vienna Vikings. The Vienna Vikings are the defending champions after defeating the Hamburg Sea Devils last season. Last season, they had a record of 10 wins and 2 losses. On the 2022 season, the team scored 352 points and their defense allowed 209 points. In the offseason, the team lost some key players, such as quarterback, star defensive lineman, and several others. The team brought back longtime head coach Chris to defend the team's first European League of Football championship. The defending European League of Football champions have found their quarterback for the 2023 season. He was arguably the German Football League's best quarterback last season. So my offseason grade for them is a solid B. The Vikings have a stacked roster once again in the upcoming 2023 campaign. And I wouldn't be surprised if they are one of the best teams this year. So those are my European League of Football team rankings for the 2023 season. What are your team rankings for the upcoming season? Let me know in the comments down below. Before you leave, please smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel. And if you love sports, this is definitely the channel for you. And also share this video with more sports fans. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nathan, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Just keep loving sports.